the space race between the United States and Soviet Russia, reached its peak with the landing on the moon, and came to an end with the collapse of the Soviet Union. With no one to compete against anymore, NASA's budget began to decrease steadily after the moon landing, and end of the space race. However, in recent years, NASA has started to receive significant support, and increase its budget again to return to the moon, or send a probe to Europa. The reason for this new increase is the renewed space race initiated by China, which launches rockets to space almost every week. Welcome to the Spaceship Earth. In this video, we will talk about the rockets that the People's Republic of China has used in the past, and the present, plans in the future during its space exploration efforts. We will explore the history and future of China's space program in a separate video soon. China's history with rockets goes back a long way. However, since these rockets have little to do with today's modern rockets that go into space, we will skip that part. It can be assumed that their work on modern rockets started not long ago. The China National Space Administration, which is one of the most secretive organizations when it comes to sharing information, has been working on rocket development since the beginning of the Cold War, and the early days of the space race. China started designing long-range ballistic missiles in the 1950s, with the help of the Soviet Union. In the 1960s, they launched their first indigenous rocket. On April 24, 1970, they launched their first satellite, Dong Fang Hong 1, the East is Red 1. This satellite, weighing 173 kilograms, was launched using the Long March 1 rocket, also known as Chang Zheng 1. It had two stages, using hypergolic propellants for the engines, and a solid fueled stage. The rocket got its name from the 9,000 km military maneuver conducted by the Chinese Red Army during the Chinese Civil War in 1934 35. The Chinese rocket designers preferred hypergolic propellants due to their simplicity, the ability to store fuels at room temperature, and ensuring the operation of engines under any conditions. They still use this preference in many of their rockets, as we can see from the orange smoke emitted when the rockets are launched, or when spent stages fall on villages. After the successful launch of Long March 1, LM1, a new and more advanced model called the Long March 2, LM2, system was developed rapidly. This two-stage rocket, weighing 190 tons, could carry three times more payload, approximately 900 kilograms or 2,000 pounds, to low Earth orbit compared to LM1. The Long March 2 series also used hypergolic propellants. They performed their first launch in 1974, and played a role in launching China's reconnaissance satellites. Variants of the LM2 rocket, such as 2F, with increased capacity to carry payloads of up to 9 tons to orbit, are still in use by China. In fact, Chinese Taikonauts going to the Chinese space station using a modified derivative of the 2F for manned missions. China started developing liquid hydrogen and oxygen-fueled rocket engines, in addition to solid and hypergolic fuel engines. They began using these new designs in the upper stages of the Long March 3 series rockets. The Long March 3 series rockets, still used by China, have lower stages that use hypergolic dinitrogen tetroxide fuel, while the upper stages have liquid oxygen-hydrogen fueled engines. The Long March 4 series is a series with restartable upper stage engines. While it cannot carry as much payload as the LM2 and LM3 series, it is capable of performing more complex orbital maneuvers, thanks to its ability to perform multiple ignitions. In the 2000s, China increased its efforts to make itself known in various fields, including space. One reason for its focus on space, was that the United States excluded China from joint projects, including the International Space Station, which was still under construction at that time. Another reason was that China obtained some information by chance about Russian rockets, and rocket engines. After the 2000s, China developed the Long March 5 rocket, which uses advanced liquid hydrogen and oxygen, or RP-1-fueled rocket engines. With a height of 87 meters and a weight of 870 tons, the LM-5 was an indicator of China's ambitious goals in this field. LM-5 made its first flight in 2016, with a payload capacity of 25 tons to low Earth orbit, and launched China's new generation Tiangong Space Station, and Tianwen Mars Lander. The Long March 5, as a heavy lift carrier rocket, is planned to help to add new modules to China's space station in the next decade, launch robots for lunar sample return missions, and be used for sending research probes to Jupiter. While LM-5 was developed for heavy lift missions, the Long March 6 rocket was developed for the quick launch of lighter payloads. LM-6 is a two-stage rocket that uses liquid oxygen and RP-1 as propellants. The two-stage rocket can put a one-ton payload into a sun-synchronous orbit. Additionally, 
a mini third stage carried with the payload can be added to the system when necessary. For medium lift missions, China developed the Long March 7 rocket. It is expected to be the backbone of Chinese space transportation, and planned to be used in 70% of launches in the future. LM-7 series rockets can launch 14 tons to low Earth orbit, or supply unmanned Shenzhou vehicles to China's Tiangong space station. It is also planned to be used for manned missions in the future. The Long March rockets, which provide almost all of China's access to space, are disposable vehicles, just like in the rest of the world. For China, which performed 64 flights in 2022, and plans to increase this number every year, single-use rockets are not a preferred option. To keep up with the increasing number of flights, and reduce launch costs, the Long March 8 was developed. Like SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, the first stage of the LM-8 is planned to land back on Earth. Its first flight took place in December 2020. Currently, LM-8 is capable of launching 5 tons to low Earth orbit as a disposable rocket. It is not yet known when it will start conducting reusable flights. Although these rockets have impressive capabilities, they are not sufficient for China to surpass the United States in the space race. To achieve that, heavy launch capability is required. This is where super heavy lift carrier rockets like SLS or Starship come into play. China's solution to this need is the Long March 9 rocket. This giant rocket, with a height of 103 meters, and a weight of 4,000 tons, is equipped with liquid oxygen hydrogen and RP-1 kerosene-fueled engines, and can lift 140 to 150 tons to low Earth orbit. LM-9, which is currently under development, is expected to make its first flight in 2029, and is considered for China's manned missions to the Moon, and Mars in the 2030s. It is said that a redesigned version of the rocket is being worked on to make the first stage reusable. The final member of the Long March series, LM-11, is like a cousin within the family. Developed based on the Dongfeng-31 intercontinental ballistic missile, the rocket consists of four solid fuel stages. Designed to be launched without much preparation from anywhere, the rocket has conducted 16 flights so far. It can be launched from a closed tube using the method called cold launch, and can also be launched from the sea. The Long March series, which is the main contractor for China's access to space, has achieved an incredible success with a total of 489 flights as of early September 2022. The success rate of the rockets is quite high at 95.7%. However, the Long March series is not the only rocket used by China for space launches. In projects initiated to conduct space activities, in collaboration with the Chinese private sector, many private, but not so exclusive companies have participated. However, a few of them stand out for now. One of the prominent companies is Landspace or Blue Arrow. It performed its first orbital attempt in October 2018 with the Zhu Qia 1 rocket. The solid fueled, three staged rocket became China's first rocket to attempt an orbital launch. Due to an issue in the third stage, the orbit could not be reached in the successful launch. The company's main focus is on the Zhu Qia 2 rocket, which has liquid oxygen and methane fueled engines. It is expected to carry a payload of 4 tons to low Earth orbit, and in July 12, 2023, Zhu Qia 2 became the first methane fueled launch vehicle to reach orbit after a successful second flight. Another company that plays an important role in space activities is Xpace. The Quazho rocket family was developed for launching payloads up to 400 kilograms from any desired location without special preparations, similar to the Long March 11. These rockets, derived from the Dongfeng 21 medium range ballistic missiles, have been conducting missions since 2013. The KZ 1A model with a weight of 30 tons, and a height of 19.5 meters, can launch 300 kilograms to low Earth orbit, while its sibling, the 78-ton KZ-11 rocket, has a payload capacity of 1.5 tons. In the future, the company plans to develop a KZ-21 rocket with a payload capacity of 70 tons. In addition, other Chinese companies such as Galactic Energy, which closely resembles SpaceX's Falcon 9 design. China is currently engaged in a cold war with the United States. They do not want to be economically or technologically dependent on the U.S. and are unwilling to comply with its dictates. Similarly, they do not want to lag behind the United States in space, in terms of access to space, and benefiting from the economic opportunities it offers in the future. Therefore, they are trying to catch up with and, if possible, surpass the United States by fully utilizing their capabilities. Their developed rockets also continue to work and improve towards achieving this goal. Thank you for watching Spaceship Earth. If you like our videos, please give a thumbs up and share it.
To stay updated on our videos about space and space technologies, please subscribe to our channel.